What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video in my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm really happy to finally introduce my dropshipping agent, Alex. Thank you so much for being here. How are you, Alex? Hello, Alex. Hello, everybody. So basically, Hi. as I promised in the Silk Road dropshipping video that I will introduce my dropshipping agent, Alex. Uh, so first of all, Alex, can you introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about yourself and your background in dropshipping. Yeah, of course. Hello, everyone. I, I'm Alex, and I am a professional agent for dropshippers more than two years. So you you are also uh, you selling on AliExpress, yes? You are also a supplier inside AliExpress, right? Yeah, I'm I'm a seller on AliExpress, and also uh, I'm a agent of job uh, for job shippers. So my first question for you is, where uh, are your warehouses inside China? Yeah, I have two warehouse warehouses. One is in eastern China in Zhejiang province, and another another one is in southern China in Guangdong province. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And the, the second one is, is kind of new, right? Because it started to expand. Yeah, we need to expand our business, so we create a new warehouse. Yeah, so guys, keep in mind that uh, Alex is performing very well. I personally, for myself, can tell that his services are great, and I'm really happy for you that you started to expand. And this way, we can have better uh, service with uh, dropshipping from China, of course. So now something that most of you guys already want to know about is what's going on with this coronavirus. And for those that don't know what is the coronavirus, but I think that already everybody know what it is. It's basically it's kind of, of a flu or like a sickness that really spreading out uh, basically most of it in China and also started a bit in the outside world, outside China. Yeah, uh, first of all, I, I want to say uh just do not worry at first because now the virus is only in china and most uh, mostly in uh, hubei, uh, hubei province is but now it affects us a lot because uh everyone need to do self -isol isolation keep self isolation at home you know i have been at home for more than 20 days and, so, and so then, basically, you are not you are not uh, going south outside the house. Yeah, uh, I cannot go uh, go out. Uh, I, I cannot leave my apartment. You know. Yeah, and, and like, how how do you eat? How do like you if you need to run some errands or something? It's it's uh, just interesting. Yeah, we have two days for once. We can go out for for almost four hours for two days. A family, only a member, can can go out. So we can uh, uh, we can buy veg veggies. We can buy some something that that we use for only two uh, oh. four hours for two days. But I have oh. to say, uh, the policy is changing all the time. All the time, new policy today is we can go out for once to, uh, every day. Uh, so okay. it's a good sign that. The vice can be controlled, and the, yeah, the, policy, the policy is a bit uh, starting to release, you know? I wanted also to ask, uh, like, how is your government dealing with that? There is like something saying that there is maybe a reduce, or maybe something about a healing for that, or some kind of a treatment. There is some kind of news about it. Yeah, some some people get uh, already get get uh, treated. But uh, now you know the results in China is not enough, so, uh, so a lot of people still um, still cannot get treated. But they are confirmed who in fact they, they have confirmed that they have get infected by the virus. Yeah. Yeah, and just a personal question: if if you don't want to answer, don't have to. Like uh, some of your f uh, family members got got that virus or something. Uh, some some examples shows that some family get together and they get infected together. So that's that's why we cannot go out and just keep isolation in home at home. But your family is safe, yeah. Yeah, that, that's safe. We just cut the link with people, so and then keep isolation for 40 days, and then the virus is gone. Because if someone get infected, he he will uh, have some, you know, uh, have some. Yeah. Yeah, 
and and then she, uh, he can go to hospital and uh, and uh, the hospital will uh, keep isolation for him and uh, other and uh, uh, the government will also keep strictly isolation for the people who have meet him uh, closely you know so mm -hmm. all the will be cut will be cut off and then we just wait for 40 days and the things will will, will be better as now i think the, the numbers is dropped every day it's a good sign. Yeah, so you're saying that uh, things are starting to, to, to get better and seeing a bit better, better news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have to say in past 10 days, the situation is better and better uh, every day. Yeah, because uh, not like not going out, outside the house or like not even working and you can't go like buy something out or, you know, it's... I can't imagine yeah. myself how hard it is, and like especially for you when your business is outside home and you need to, to go to your warehouse, supply yeah, the, yeah. the orders, which is really, really difficult that we are going to uh, more talk about, about it right now, is more the, the dropshipping world aspect is how that affects us. Like, uh, I know that it affects your business, uh, obviously, but what, yeah. what do you think that, uh, so first let's talk about how it affects your business as a supplier, like what are the main issues? Yeah, I think I can talk a lot of this to explain such problems. Uh, yeah, about, just, about, you know, just, just the key points that uh, really that the major problems right now. Yeah, uh, I have three topics because uh, I to show how it uh, in, impact our business. First, first mm -hmm. is the factory, you know, because of the Corona virus, the factory cannot yeah. work. Uh, so if they all, cannot... all the factories right now are, are closed. All the factories yeah. closed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can, yeah. I cannot see, I cannot see one hundred percent because you know the things get better and some uh, some, some big them. companies. Yeah, some big companies has uh, have applied for working again. Uh, but usually the small factories and we cannot, we, uh, they, are, they are still closed. It means we cannot get products, you know, we cannot yeah. get, get yeah, products. And yeah, yeah, that's very important so that we can, we can, we cannot send it. And mm -hmm. even if the, the, pro, uh, the factory start, start to work and, start, uh, and, and they need workers to come back to work, you know, yeah, and course. yeah, that means uh, we need to, it takes some time to recover the production uh, capacity, you know. Yeah, yeah right. it maybe need, need some time. Uh, but I cannot say 100% that uh, all, all the factory cannot produce because we still meet some factories who has inventory, you know, mm -hmm. before the Chinese New Year so that we uh, we can also buy some, some pieces from them. So can uh, just keep touch uh, keep in touch with your agent and uh, ask them whether this uh, this product and, can. And right be right now, you are not uh, you are not shipping out any any orders right now. Okay, okay. Uh, that's the first topic, you know. And the second topic is the sh shipment in China and the shipment outside. Yeah. Uh, shipping in China, some some city who who uh, which is high risky was was shut down. So yeah. uh, shipment is also closed. Mm -hmm. uh, that means if our uh, factory is in that city, so we can we cannot we cannot get pro products from them because the shipment is closed. You know. So Alex, uh, do you ship any orders right now that coming out from China from your warehouse outside to the customers? Yeah, I still can send some some orders, uh, but not from my warehouse. Uh, uh, from apartment because I have a small warehouse in my apartment uh, because oh, I really? have a lot yeah I have a lot inventory uh, mm -hmm. before Chinese New Year we, 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 we kept for our customers you know who says yeah. who we pre prepared some inventory for our customers and we now we can still send it because uh, so basically office, you're, you're sending from from your home when you have, have the a bit the free time to go outside the house and then you, you ship it out yeah, and because the post office is still working, they have license. Okay. You know, it's national post office. They have license, and they can can 
collect yeah. my packages from my my home. Just, of course. I, just one second, yeah. I want to to say something, guys. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you can go read some studies uh, about the coronavirus. Basically, the virus cannot live on a package more than uh, some some articles saying that an hour, but the max that I read is four hours. So even if somebody is infected, shipping out the the product. The virus cannot live on the package when it's going to the airplane and ships to the customer. So, first of all, if you have some customers' complaints, explain them. And I'm sure that you can find on Google the articles and se even send that to your customers. So, just keep that in mind and don't be afraid to, if you're still dropping from China or you maybe thought about uh, going to an agent or still dropping from China, you don't need to worry about it. As long as the Chinese post is still working, you can ship out products that is 100% safe. Yeah, uh, continue, Alex. Yeah, I absolutely I, I, I'm, I, agree, I agree with you because uh, the sorting center of post office will also do the dis, if, uh, disinfection, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the package from China is, is safe. Uh, so Alex, about the shipments, uh, I think that the shipments are not like as usual as we had before, like uh, probably there is some extended time for the handling and processing and even the shipping. Can you a bit more uh, elaborate about that? Mm. Now I asked my uh, post of officer, they said the shipment till now is, is normal now. I know some customers mm -hmm. are, are very interested, uh, are, are very worried about, about the delivery time, but now, we, st we still send a lot of packages and we check the big data, you know, and uh, it does not affect too much. Yeah. Okay, so uh, th that, is, that is a great thing. So basically the shipping is, is still the same. Uh, like just for you know, guys, for my personal experience working with Alex, the shippings are really fast to the United, I was ma mainly focusing on the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia. So the, the longest is Australia, which is around up to 16 days, not business days, just 16 days, which is really, really good. Uh, so the shipping is very well, but how it affects, for example, your processing days, like usually it, it's like within 24 hours up to 48 hours, but now with the coronavirus, how long it takes you to ship out orders? Uh, if we have the inventory in our warehouse, you know, uh, then we can fulfill them in 20 hours to 48 hours. But if we do not have inventory because of the virus, the factory did not open. Maybe we, we have to we have to wait for it. You know, wait for yeah. the factory open, and we need to buy from them. Yeah. Okay. So basically, if someone uh, wants to like to source a new product which you don't have in your inventory. So basically, probably you won't be able to like to work with them because right now factories, everybody almost is, is closed. So you need to wait until everything will a bit calm down and then only then you will be able to source new products. But th those that you already have right now, you can still uh, process the orders and ship out the to the customers, right? Yeah, right. So Alex, how do you see this uh, coronavirus is ending soon? Can you like kind of predict what is going to be with this virus and when things are going to really get back to normal? I, uh, the virus, uh, I cannot predict how it, uh, it ends, it, how it ends, yeah. uh, when it ends, because uh, at least I think at least too much or uh, to April, you know, but that yeah. that's not that that that's not problem because uh, the impact of the virus will be less mm -hmm. and less. It will not affect our yeah. business. Yeah, if just if government allowed us to open our companies and open the factories and the shipment is normal, mm -hmm. and then our business is no problem. Just we cannot just focus on the ending of the virus because uh, if it was controlled and it it it's no risk it it has no risks you know. Yeah. So, so but, uh, but, I, but I think if they already give you to like going out every day, then going to, uh, twice a week. So I think that maybe things starting to, to like to to look better. Yeah, that's a good sign because now uh, we only have 
we, we, we have new policies of one one day to go out and now that, that's a good sign that the policy is released and uh, I heard some some new policies that uh, on February the 17th some small factories also and some small companies also can apply for recovery of their work uh, 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 of their work you know yeah amazing. So, yeah, that's that's a good sign. We cannot wait until the virus is in, and we just uh, uh, wait the policies of of the government. And if policy is released, and we can normally work. Maybe I think in February we can work normally. I I really I really hope so. So okay, so right now, so this is what is is going on. This is the updates that we have right now. Guys, first of all, if you want to hear more from Alex about updates the coronavirus, and we will have another follow-up video about more talking about his services, but I really want to point this subject because I know this is very, very important and crucial for people that are actually dropshippers. And how people can, can reach out to you, like if they want to uh, contact, maybe ask you if you already have some kind of product, or if they want to source source in future a new product and start working with you, where they can uh, really reach reach out to you? Yeah, of course. Every everyone can just con contact me directly, and if uh, someone has some questions, you also can ask me, and I will reply as soon as possible. Yeah, perfect, guys. I will link in the description all the contact information of Alex, the Skype, WhatsApp, Facebook, everything you need. To contact uh, him, you can say that you came uh, from my channel. Uh, that to see that also, also that uh, my audience, we guys support Alex, and also that you will get better treatment, right, Alex? Yeah, of course. All right, amazing. So yeah, that's it basically for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. And as I said, we will do another follow-up uh, video if we will have serious updates about the coronavirus. And if not, uh, if everything is going to be okay and everything is just going to, to end, then we'll do another follow-up to more talk about in-depth the services of Alex. So yeah, guys, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, Alex, for being here. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.